Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I was thinking in this video I could be painting a beautiful landscape, actually a seascape of course, you know, you know me and seascapes. I just love them, can't do without them actually. So, but this one I decided to be to make a little bit less realistic, to make it a little bit more, you know, somewhat abstract, not really, but not even realistic. And well, I think this will be fun and I think you should try it definitely. It won't be difficult. It we will use a couple of different techniques and I think you will enjoy it. So let's get started. The materials I will be using are listed down in description box so you can check it out and prepare your papers, watercolors and just join in. I started off with pre-wetting my paper, the entire paper, and then after that I used Naples Yellow just to add some background to my sky and also to my sea and a little bit of burnt sienna. Right now I'm adding some cadmium yellow medium, so those are the three colors I'm using for now and later on I will also use a little bit of sepia and I think I will be also using some neutral black for the sailboat at the end or not. No, 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 I don't think I will. I, I think I'm using only sepia. Uh, and well, those are the four colors I will be using. So this will be mostly yellowish, brownish, some sepia, sepia, sepia. I'm, I'm just always calling it sepia and I hear other people saying sepia. Is it sepia or sepia? You know, in my language it's sepia, so probably sepia, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been mistaken for a long, long time. I hope you don't mind. I'm sorry. I think you knew what I meant. And so back to the painting. I was, uh, I did the, I did not paint the entire sky, but just some parts of it because I want that white of the paper to peek through. So you've probably seen, I've just with some, uh, horizontal strokes I painted in the sky and the sea and the sea I painted a little bit darker and right now with a larger again round brush I'm just stopping in the burnt sienna and sepia for the clouds. I pre-wetted the paper, I left it to dry completely after my first layer and then pre-wetted it for the second layer and I'm just stopping in the and making some round circle motions with my brush and just painting in the clouds clouds and those clouds are going to be quite impressive impressive in yeah well not realistic <laughs> and well i i just want them to be loose and this painting is actually a looser one so just don't bother yourself we will do only one layer not more layers to our clouds so it shouldn't be that difficult and well you can use i i i well, I advise you to use a larger brush because it will be easier to make those larger, uh, larger clouds to pick up a little bit more water and a little bit more paint with your brush. So the clouds will be easier to paint. And right now I'm just painting in the the reflection of the clouds in the water. And for that, I'm not also even trying to make it exactly the same. I'm just again tapping in in the the clouds, the reflection in the lower part of my water. And as you can see, I'm going all sort of ways. I'm doing it in a straight line. I'm doing it in a slightly angled line and not, as I said, trying to make it exactly the same reflection as it was as the clouds are, because I just want them to, well, to give your eye well, to, to let your eye and your brain to fill up the gaps. And right now I'm just pre-wetting, uh, right now I just placed the washi tape in the part where my horizon line is going to be because I want it to be straight. Well, you will see later on how straight it was. And with some burnt sienna and then later on with some sepia, I'm just adding that horizon line because I want that line to be a little bit more darker than the rest of the than the rest of the sea the middle part of the sea and the one that is furthest from us, I want that part to be a darkest. And right now I'm just with a 
slightly wet brush just adding horizontal lines to our water to make it look like that is the water that there is some movement in that part of my painting and now voila see perfect line not really <laughs> i guess i didn't i didn't dry it completely my horizon line uh, line was a little bit wet so the washi tape didn't stick well enough and that is the reason why this happened but you know I'm not bothered with that I just use a, a flat brush and try to pick up some of the paint you can see there is still smudginess but you know I don't mind I really don't mind it just looks like there is some fogginess there and maybe some other clouds it really it doesn't make the painting look awful and so I'm not really bothered with that now I'm just sketching my sailboat and you can you can do it without sketching if you want and if you do want you can sketch your boat and I did not pre-sketch it before I started to paint because well I thought it wouldn't be so visible and right now I'm just adding it with, with this is a light pencil so I'm just slightly sketching it and using sepia to paint it and this time a smaller round brush also because well I think that would be easier you can use a detail brush if you have a pointy larger pointy brush you can use that brush it's just fine it's just perfect and well as I said not really difficult and the uh, sails I'm painting also in sepia sepia see I'm learning fast uh, in sepia and well um, I guess there won't be really any difference in the sailboat sails and I will just make the entire boat and the sails in that color and so in some parts I will add a little bit more of that sepia. it is actually a mix of sepia and burnt sienna and I will add a little bit more to make it somewhat looking different but I'm not really bothered with that and now I'm painting the reflection of it in the water and I just slightly I did not prevent that part of the paper but I've just uh, when I painted it I just used a slightly damped brush and just went beneath it to let that paint slightly slightly bleed and well I'm painting it quite the reflection I'm painting quite lighter than the than the sailboat itself I, I really do want it to be lighter I don't want the reflection to be very dark I'm using a um, script brush to paint in that I'm not sure how is that called that deadline I know how it's called my language but I'm not sure how it's called in English I'm sure you know what I mean to paint that line you know that line And now I'm just adding some horizontal lines in the sea to look again as there is some movement in the water. And while adding a horizon line, darkening that horizon line, well, I do really want that line to be well more visible because you know that is just so perfect. It's so perfect. I, I've done it so perfectly that I really do want it to emphasize it a little bit more. <laughs> I'm just joking. See how funny today I am? I actually had. A pretty nerve-wracking happen this thing happening to me today but you know I've just decided um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother myself and I'm just gonna deep deep breathe deeply and just let it go you know you sometimes in life things happen that well you know that upset you and make you sad but you know it just happens it happens we have to embrace that also as good things that happen in our life you know I'm fine everything is fine health wise and with me and my family you know I, I know the thing is going on in the world right now that is all fine it's not that so you know just I'm trying to put everything in a perspective and say to myself that I'm actually pretty lucky and you know but you know things that upset you just happen and Oh, well, um, I guess I feel a little bit more better right now recording this and I was just talking and I, I see I'm finished with my painting and I'm sorry I was bothering, you know, and I hope you you could have seen everything I've done and, and you could have followed my tutorial. If you have any questions, please ask away in the comment box 
and well i hope you like this video and if you do please hit the like button it really really means a lot to me you know and i just love to know what you like and what you want me to do and well and 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 what yes share this video if, if you have anywhere to share it on your social media or wherever i would be very grateful for that and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel um that would really mean even more to me and well please don't forget to hit the notification bell because that is how you will make sure not to miss any of my future videos i'm sorry guys i hope you had fun and well i hope i'll see you next time bye